Welcome back everyone to another Premiere editing tutorial. Today, I'm going to be covering the subject of transitions. So to start this off, I'm in my effects tab and uh, there are all these different presets. So you have audio transitions here and video transitions here. You can use as many or as few of them as you like. Personally, I like sticking to the simple crossfade transition, so just, you know, nice and simple. But if you want to use another fun one, by all means, feel free, play around, do whatever works best for you. So, to start this off, I would... At the beginning of your video and audio files, I would always have a transition because you don't want your video to start off really harsh. So just applying default transitions to those, I would say is a good way to go. And if you haven't seen it, I created a video on what I would recommend for default transitions. I will link that up in the corner right now. Okay. And then in your video file, if you come to something like this, where it like changes completely and there's nothing on the video and audio tracks anymore, I would always put transitions at those points. Uh, but my video intro, the transitions are built into that, so I definitely don't want to put a transition here or it would end up eating into my already transitioned video. So I'm just going to pull that up to another line so that it does not get one. And then same thing, I would apply some transitions here just to make sure that everything just blends nice and smooth and seamlessly. Then you can scroll down. Cuts like this are more personal preference. Sometimes you want a transition there, sometimes you don't. Uh, let's see what I got going on here. So honestly, because I just switched from one screen to a completely different one, that's kind of a transition all by itself. So with something like that and the fact that it's a computer screen, I would almost rather leave just a hard uh, jump cut in there. Uh, there's really no reason I would say to put a transition on that. And most of the cuts in this video, since it's a computer screen, are going to be those type of transitions, so I would skip them. But say something like this, where you're transitioning from a video to an image and then back to a video, those I would definitely put some transitions in because, again, there's a gap in the tracks, so I would always want it there. But these other, but yeah, definitely blend that image a little bit more smoothly. And then scrolling down through my video, got another spot like that here. And again, this is really personal preference and up to your video editing style. Uh, sometimes you want them, sometimes you don't. So those would get transitions. And this here, uh, it just scrolls and then it just harsh cuts into another one. So due to the fact that I'm displaying images, I would want to transition there. But this one, as you'll notice, uh, it's kind of got a, it's got an, it's got a motion effect that is better than a transition, so it, it does that. So you would definitely not want to put a transition in there, or else, well, this would happen. Now, I guess it doesn't really do much. So, I mean, is what it is. But for better safe than sorry, I would definitely not put one there. And then at the end, when you're coming back to video, always transitions, because, you know, it's got the dead space in the tracks. And then I already got the transition up there, so I would want to fade out my audio. And I think that would be all the transitions I would put into this video. Well, I guess other than the uh, music track, which I still haven't added, but that is coming next time. So if you have found this video useful, Definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. I will do my best to answer any questions. And hopefully, I will see everyone next time.